Hello everybody and welcome back to the Empire Let's Play series. Between episodes I accomplished three pretty big things. So the first thing I did is I went out and I explored that underwater ruin. Took a boat out there, swam down to the bottom of the ocean, and somehow, miraculously, there were no drowned down there. So that was very, very fortunate. I did some poking around and I found a few chests and I found some suspicious sand. And there was some really, really great stuff down there. So you can see here, we found a sniffer egg, which was really unexpected. We found some pottery sherds and then some really awesome fishing rods. I combined all those fishing rods and I came up with a perfect fishing rod, which I then took out and did a little bit of fishing. While I was fishing, I got some really great loot. We got some bows. I got a power three mending bow. I got a power four flame bow. Got some name tags. Got a saddle. I got a curse of vanishing book. But we're starting to get some great loot. Second thing I did is I went back down to the trial chamber and I mined a bunch of tough for our roads. While I was down there, I fought the slimes again. I got another key and I found one more vault that I hadn't opened. And out of that vault, I got a diamond chest plate. First diamond armor that we've gotten so far. It's not really great. I think it has projectile protection on it, but it is better than the iron that we've been wearing. So that's pretty awesome. The third thing that I did is across from this cobblestone highway, started to cut up into the hill. And as you can see, we still need a ton of stone so that we can do the center of the path. And this was a ton of work, but it kind of comes up like this. And then it connects up with the path that goes off to our mining village. Over here, we got a lot of terraforming to do. You can see I've got it kind of sketched out. And um, I'm using all the dirt that we got here to kind of build this up. Still quite a lot of work to do. But I'm really happy with the progress we're making. We have completely kind of sketched out the connection between the savanna and the mining village. And now we just need more materials so that we can finish this road up. We did just a couple of things over here. So one is I took our armadillo scoot, made some wolf armor, and got these guys all armored up. I still do have a couple of extra sets, so we are in good shape there. Another thing I did is the holding cell where the villagers and the zombie used to be. I went ahead and tore that down. And then I put some blocks down to indicate the shape of this building. And that's how I want to start off today is sketching out this village. Where are the buildings going to be? How are we going to keep the villagers protected? All of that. I do have some ideas for the design and the aesthetic, and I think it's going to be really cool. And then I got thinking, you know, once we've got these villages set up, we need pumpkins to trade with the farmers so that we can get emeralds to trade with the other villagers. And we need to make a pumpkin farm. But the pumpkin farm is going to be really difficult without quartz. Same goes for this. I want to create something to take the iron and kind of compact it using a crafter block. But without quartz, I can't make comparators. So the redstone's kind of on hold until we go to the nether. I think as far as the pumpkin farm, I could probably come up with something. Um, you know, even if it's a button that I push to harvest the thing, we'll figure that out. But there's only so much we can do until we get further into the game. So to start, let's sketch out this village.
Well, here we have the rough draft. So we will come along on our path and enter a gateway right here into kind of the center of the village. In the center will have the iron farm, a very tall kind of tower in the middle, and it will be surrounded by smaller buildings. And I made all of the buildings exactly the same size. I want this to look a little bit industrial, like a working farm, a contemporary farm, not like an old timey farm. So I want things to be, you know, lots of smooth stone, stuff like that, like it is a operation that is making stuff. And it's just a loop around the center building. We will have a way to get to our mine. And then here is where the road will continue on to the other villages. And then on this side, right over here is kind of where I imagine we might do a pumpkin farm. So this building here, this little outbuilding will be where we will collect pumpkins. And then here will be our building. And I think I'd like to have a base at every single village of some sort of size. This one is pretty central, so I might make it a little bigger than the other one. We'll see how it goes as I start to build it out. And I think I'd mentioned that I want all of the villagers in this village to be farmers. I want to be able to trade with all of them to get emeralds for our pumpkins, to perhaps get golden carrots. And I think this whole situation here will really help drive the rest of our economy. So I've got some spruce growing over here, so we'll have some materials. We might want to level things out a little bit. It's a little bit bumpy over here. And then we need to make it safe for the villagers to wander around so they don't get attacked or escape. And uh, before we do all that, I think I want to run down to the mines and grab us a diamond. The thing we need most right now is stone, and to get stone we need silk touch. And we can get silk touch out of an enchanting table, but to make an enchanting table I need obsidian. So we need to go mine some diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe and make an enchanting table. Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, we got three out of that one. I just need one more diamond for the enchanting table, so we'll leave those there for now. Oops, I need two diamonds to make a enchanting table. Okay, we got a couple sticks and some diamonds. Voila. One diamond pickaxe seem to recall there being some lava somewhere over here near our savannah village. There it is. There it is. I knew I saw it. Okay. Don't want to wear out this pick, so I'm just going to grab a couple of pieces. Wow, that took so long. Okay, that should be enough obsidian, and now I need a book. And you know, I'm actually going to need a bunch of books, because i got to build all those bookshelves around the enchanting table. So I guess we should focus on making more cows. Yeah, this will take a while. So mathematically speaking, we're going to need 15 bookshelves, and each bookshelf is going to use three cows, so that's a total of 45 cows that we're going to need. I have been breeding them up over here, and it's not 45, but we're getting there. And then also I've been planting just a bunch of crops so that we have wheat and everything over here, and I think that'll add some nice texture around the farms. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for all this to happen, I think I'm going to build up some of these walls and see if maybe we can get the villagers in here.
Just like we did with the Savannah Village, we will end up replacing all of this cobble with more permanent materials. I just want to kind of sketch it out and make sure that this area is secure. There's still a lot of adjustments and massaging that needs to happen here, but I'm feeling pretty good about the general layout. I think it'll be a very different look than the other village. And once we build these buildings up and get the villagers in here, I think it's going to be pretty cool looking. We are going to work primarily in stone, maybe smooth stone and spruce. I think that'll be a cool look. So right now, the thing I'm waiting for is just to get enough cows and enough sugar cane that we can make all those books so we can make all those bookshelves. Well, this is very difficult to manage, so I'm going to try something a little different here. See how this goes. Grab some wheat. If I can get the cows, follow me up the hill. Well, it might take a couple trips. Come along, cows. So I've built a little pen up here to keep them in that is much larger. And I have an idea that I want to try. From what I can tell, I've got about 32 cows in here. And so if I was to feed all of these cows, they should create about 16 babies. Now, if I come over here and I open these little gates, yeah, I should be able to sort the babies out. And that way I can keep my cedar cows safe over there. And then when these guys grow up, turn these guys into leather. Well, that cow farm actually worked out really well. We've got us 15 bookshelves. We've got a couple diamonds. We've got a book and we've got our obsidian. And that means we get to craft an enchanting table. It goes like that, like that. There it is. Now we don't have silk touch yet, so we need to be careful where we put these bookshelves down or else we're going to break them. So over here is where we're going to build our base, and I want it to be a big stone box. I want our base and this tower in the middle to primarily be stone. And then these smaller buildings will do a mix of spruce and stone and smooth stone, things like that. But I want it to look real industrial, like a working farm, like a warehouse or something like that. So right here is going to be kind of our entryway. It'll be seven blocks wide. It'll be seven blocks deep. And then it'll widen just a little bit right here. So I'm going to dig this out. And then back there a little further is where we're going to put the enchanting table. So imagine this is going to be much taller, but right now I'm just kind of working so we have enough space to stand. Found a little uh, cave here. I might need to go down and light some of that up. There is a torch down there. That must be where the mine intersects this ravine. For now, I'm just going to cover this up with cobble and we'll figure out the floor design a little bit later. Okay, here is the final floor plan. So we're going to walk in and we'll have a big 7x7 seven seven entryway. We'll have a little bit of storage on each side. And then we get into the center area where we'll have a room on our left and right and then in front of us, this is where we will put the enchanting table. One of these we can use as a bedroom, and I'll come up with a use for the other one as well. So we're going to put bookshelves here, bookshelves here, bookshelves here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Put this guy right in the middle. Nice. Put something in there. Level 30. That's great. If there's not enough bookshelves, you won't get that level 30. So we have the thing completely surrounded. What happens if I put this in there? Unbreaking three. I'm going to put a barrel in the ground here with all of our lapis. And that way we can just grab this whenever we need it. Um, let's do a quick throw away real fast. Oop. 
Nice. Enchanter. What happens now? Efficiency 3. That's not great. That's not self-touch. Okay, let's try on this guy. Boop. Now what do we get? I'm breaking 3. Try again. Boop. Self-touch. There it is. Well, between episodes, I'm going to get 30 levels so I can put Silk Touch on this pick. And then I will get us a bunch of stone. And next episode, we will get to work on this village. And that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. If you want to be like these folks and help support the channel, click join down below. It only costs 99 cents and it really helps me out. And thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>